So I want to put in a request for credit uh, for prior service and I want it to go towards uh, tenure. So I have the memorandum uh, requesting credit towards uh, tenure uh, draft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put my department chair's name, what department, I'm going to put the date, I'm going to put their name here. I don't need to change the policy numbers, I only need to change the yellow highlighted sections. I am requesting, is it one year, two years, or three? Maximum of three years can be requested for prior years of service. I am going to request three years credit go be applied towards, now because this is tenure, I don't have to change this verbiage, the five-year tenure track probationary period. Leave it alone. Remember, just change the highlighted section. What are the years of service being requested? Here's my years, 2015, 16, 16, 17, and 17, 18. When you're filling this out, you will, as you fill it out, take away the highlighted section. None of your memorandum that you submit needs to be highlighted. Next, the, uh, next, you're going to say for the first year, whatever year it is, put down your bullets of achievements, uh, bulleted items of achievements that you did that year. Next, do the next year. Next, do the next year. What I want you to notice is that if you are, um, for example, chair of the calendar committee, I was in that, let's say 2015-16, okay? And then let's say, oh, I, I did it again that same year. Put it again, okay? And then, okay, not the next year. All right. But if you are the chair of something, put it twice. If you're a part of something that's ongoing for more than one year and it happened in multiple years that you are requesting, put it in both. Um, one thing you might want to do is maybe list your memberships like this, member of the following, boom, boom, boom. Um, and you can do that for each, each year. These are just examples to kind of help you out. You will put your achievements here for each of those years. Next, sincerely put your name, your rank, and your department. All right, so let's say that I have filled all of this out and it's good to go. I've saved it. Now, the next thing that you need, sorry, uh, the next thing that you need is you have to include your annual evaluations and all documentation to go with those annual evaluations for the years that you are requesting. So I'm going to go to DEIT's website, deit.southwest.tn.edu. I'm going to log in. I'm going to go to concierge. I'm going to go down to faculty evaluation. I'm going to go to evaluation. I'm going to change the year. Uh, for example, the first year uh, I'm requesting is 1516, so I'm going to change to that one. I'm going to hit save. Next, download documentation as a PDF. <clears throat> this is the one you want. Also notice that, so you need to download this, and then what you'll notice is that Right here, you'll see. Oh, this one had a, this one had documentation. Oh, okay, I need that documentation. I'll pull that one down. I'll pull this one down. I'll pull every single thing that has a file. That's the documentation you need to go with it. All right. You're gonna do this for each year. You can also, uh, you need to also download the score sheet as well. So both of these items need to be downloaded. All of the documentation needs to be downloaded. And then once you have downloaded the documentation and score sheet for all of the years that you are requesting, as well as all of the documentation that goes with all of that, um, you add, what you'll do is you will submit all of that plus this memorandum that you have edited, and you'll submit that to your department chair. Now, how they want that to be submitted is up to them. If they would like it digitally, or if they would like it in a paper copy. Um, ask your department chair how they would prefer it. Other than that, uh, you should be good to go. Let me know if you have any questions.